Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Solver in Excel. Here I have the manufacturing data for three widgets, widget A, B and C. And I have the quantity in which they are manufactured, the profit per widget and the overall profit which is profit per widget multiplied by the quantity. And here in cell D5 I have the overall profit. Here I have the overall quantity for these widgets. Now if you have this kind of data you may also have certain constraints. For example here I have these four constraints which says that at least 100 of widget A should be manufactured, 20 of widget B and 50 of widget C at least these many numbers should be produced and overall the total number should not exceed 350 widgets. So with these constraints, the idea is to maximize the overall profit. Now if you have such problems, then you can use a solver. By default, solver is not available in Excel, so you would not find it in the ribbon here. You would have to activate it. To do that, go to File, Options, within Excel Options dialog box, select Add-ins. And here, you would have this drop-down, select Excel Add-ins and click OK. Here in the add-ins you would find solver add-in. Check this and click OK. And now it would be added within the data tab. You would see that you now have a new group which is the analysis group where you have the solver option. Now if I click on solver it opens this solver parameters dialog box and I would put, down, put in my constraints and the things that I need to change here. So I would say that my objective here is to maximize the profit. So this is the value that I want to change and I want to maximize it. You can also select options such as minimize uh, in case it's cost then you may want to minimize it or you may also want to set it to a certain value. In this case we would select maximum profit. And now we want to change these three cells, the quantity cells. The idea is that the uh, quantity of these widgets should be optimized in a way where the profit is maximum. So I've selected these three uh, cell references which are the variables that we want to change. Now you would have to add the constraints. So in this case here you have this box subject to constraints and you can add a constraint by clicking on this add button. As soon as I click on add it opens the add constraint dialog box. Here I would have to do it one by one. So I would select the first cell reference which is B2 and the constraint here is at least 100 widget A should be made. So here I would say this should be greater than equal to because this is at least and I would put the value 100 and as soon as I click on OK you can see that it has now been added. Similarly I can add the remaining three constraints so it, I would say widget B at least 20 of widget B should be manufactured I would click add so that one has been added and now I'm adding the third one which is widget C at least 50 of widget C should be manufactured and now when I click OK you can see these three has be, have been added. Along with these three I also have the overall value constraint which is 350 units. So here I would say B5 should be equal to 350. You can see that you have these six options where you can select less than equal to, equal to, greater than equal to, the value should be integer, it should be binary or all the values should be different. So these are the options that you can select and I would click OK. So now these four constraints have been added. Once you have added this you need to select the solving method. Also make sure that you know this box is checked or unchecked based on your data set. So for example if you want uh, your uh, unconstrained variable to be negative or they can be negative then you can use this uh, dialog box, uh, you can use this check box, you can keep it checked otherwise you can uncheck this. In my case I would not want uh, unconstrained variable to be non-negative because I would not want the profit to be negative. Uh, so I've unchecked it but totally depends on your data set. Now there are three solving methods. So in this case we have the GRG non-linear, simplex LP and evolutionary method. We do have uh, some 
explanation here below on the solving method but uh, to tell you in a nutshell simplex LP uh, or linear programming is suited for the data set that we have uh, here as of now where if you change one variable then uh, the result would proportionally change uh, which is called the linear programming method if you have non-linear programming in case you have quadratic equations or if you have uh, complex equations where uh, the output is not directly proportional then you may want to go for our G, uh, GRG non-linear and similarly you can choose evolutionary if you want to find out uh, if your data is uh, non-linear and your data is not convex so these are uh, typical statistical problems that you have to deal with and based on your data set and your requirement you can select it I would select simplex LP in this case because my data is very simple and very linear now I would click on solve because I have given the constant, I have given the variable cells, I have given the objective cell which is this one and the idea is to maximize the overall profit. Now as soon as I click OK uh, solve you can see I have the solver results and here it says solver found a solution and the solution is now visible here so the solution is that this remains at 350 and these values have changed earlier it was 200 now it has become 100 earlier this was uh, 50 and it has become 20 and widget C has been increased uh, from 50 to 230 so that the ma the profit has been maximized to 8910 units be it dollars or euros or whatever unit it is so now you can keep the solver solution or you may want to go back to the original values if you do not like this solution or you want to try something else. You also have the option of creating these three reports. So we have the answer report, sensitivity report and limits report. You can create either one, two or all of these. You can simply select it and click OK and see what happens as soon as I click OK. Uh, also you can uh, save this as a scenario so if you save this as a scenario you can use this in scenario manager uh, that we have covered in one of our previous videos so now when I have these reports selected and I click OK you can see that these three tabs have been added answer report 1 sensitivity report 1 and limits report 1 if you go through these you would see that these are pre-populated uh, with the format that Excel has already defined and here you can see that uh, there are there is the objective cell which has been uh, maximized to 8910 uh, the earlier value was 6100 similarly we have the original values of the widget quantity and the final value and we have the cell values along with uh, the formula there is so this is uh, uh, an answer report where if you have a complex data set then you can quickly see how uh, the original value and the final value have changed you also have the sensitivity report and limits report so if you are, have such kind of data set where you need to look at the sensitivity this is the reduced cost and the objective coefficient I have no idea what this is but if you work with a lot of statistical reports and you use solver then these might be helpful so the idea is to show you that these can be generated with a single click using the solver so now you can see that our problem has been solved and the profit has been maximized so this is how you can use solver in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day